Hello and welcome. Today we'll explore a fun fact about every country in the world. These videos are packed with information, so let's dive right in. In Austria, there's a small village of about 100 people called Fucking. As you may guess, they've always had issues with people stealing the city name sign. But on January 1st, 2021, the town changed its name to Fugging, which, for some reason, sounds even worse. However, it solved the sign stealing problem, and people don't steal signs anymore. In Iran, there was an ambitious attempt to set a world record for creating the world's longest sandwich. Thousands of people gathered to witness the event, and excitement filled the air. However, before the officials from the Guinness Book of World Records could measure it, eager onlookers couldn't resist the temptation and started eating the sandwich, thwarting the record attempt. In Honduras, there is an annual phenomenon known as La Luvia de Pisces, or Rain of Fish, where it supposedly rains fish once a year in the city of Yoro. This strange event has been occurring for more than a century, captivating both locals and visitors. Despite numerous theories, the exact reason behind this extraordinary occurrence remains unknown. In Belgium, the country went an impressive 589 days without a government in 2010 to 2011, setting a world record. This record stood until 2020 when Belgium broke its own record, going 652 days without a government. The political impasse highlighted the country's complex political landscape and unique challenges in forming a coalition government. In Armenia, chess isn't just a game. It's a crucial part of every child's primary education. Since 2011, all students from the age of six learn chess as a mandatory subject in school. This innovative approach aims to develop critical thinking, strategic planning, and problem-solving skills from an early age. In 2009, Antigua and Barbuda decided to honor U.S. President Barack Obama by renaming their highest peak as Mount Obama, even though he had never set foot on the island. It was a grand gesture of admiration. However, in 2016, the islanders decided to revert back to the original name, Boggy Peak. Canada have more lakes than all the other countries in the world combined. With over two million lakes, Canada is a paradise for nature lovers and outdoor enthusiasts. From the stunning Great Lakes to the serene and secluded northern waters, these lakes cover a significant portion of the country's landscape. Estonia was the first country in the world to adopt online voting, starting way back in 2005. This innovative system allowed citizens to vote from the comfort of their homes, making the process much more convenient and accessible. By embracing this technology early on, Estonia set a new standard for digital democracy and showed how technology can make voting easier for everyone. In 2008, the Prime Minister of Barbados established a new national holiday called Rihanna Day to be celebrated on the 22nd of February. This special day was created to honor the singer, who was born in Barbados, for her contributions to music and her impact on the global stage. Afghanistan changed its flag 18 times during the 20th century and four more times since then, with the current flag in use since 2013. These changes were due to shifts in political power and government. Albania has over 173,000 concrete bunkers spread across its land, averaging nearly 15 bunkers per square mile. Built during the communist era under Enver Hoxha's rule, they were meant to protect against potential invasions. Today, these bunkers remain as reminders of Albania's past. Algeria is the largest country in Africa, yet only about 10% of its vast territory is inhabitable. The majority of Algeria is covered by the Sahara Desert, which dominates its landscape. This vast desert expanse presents both challenges and opportunities for the country's development and its people. In 2013, a construction company in Belize controversially demolished a 2,300-year-old Mayan pyramid to make way for a new road. This ancient structure, part of Belize's rich cultural heritage, was lost despite widespread outcry, 
and efforts to preserve it as an important archaeological site. Bhutan holds the distinction of being the most mountainous country in the world, with an astounding 98.8% of its land area covered in towering peaks and rugged terrain. The average elevation of the country is approximately 3,280 meters above sea level, making it a land dominated by high-altitude landscapes that shape its unique geography and culture. Bolivia maintains a navy with approximately 5,000 personnel, an unexpected feature for a landlocked country. This navy operates on lakes and rivers within Bolivia, demonstrating the country's strategic use of its inland waterways, despite its lack of direct access to the sea. Brazil is widely recognized as having the greatest biodiversity of any country on Earth. Researchers estimate that Brazil is home to up to 210,000 known species of plants, animals, and microorganisms, with total species numbers potentially reaching as high as 2.4 million. This remarkable diversity underscores Brazil's critical role in global conservation efforts and its rich natural heritage. The Sultan of Brunei is estimated to possess a net worth of $20 billion. And he resides in the largest residential palace globally, which holds a value of $350 million. Burkina Faso's name translates to land of incorruptible people. However, in 2019, the country scored only 40 out of 100 on Transparency International's Corruption Perceptions Index, indicating significant challenges in combating corruption despite its name's noble connotation. In some parts of Cambodia, communities have crafted their own makeshift trains from bamboo, referred to as noris, after regular services stopped running. Who needs traditional trains when bamboo gets the job done? The largest permanent settlement on Antarctica is a Chilean town called Villa Las Estrellas. Its population is about 150 during the summer, which drops to around 80 during the winter. China spans what could be five time zones, but it uses a single time zone based on Beijing time. This uniform system promotes national unity while causing notable differences in sunrise and sunset times across the country. And that's all for today. Thanks for tuning in to Fun Facts. Stay curious and keep exploring the world of fascinating trivia with us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest fun facts. Until next time, keep learning and sharing the joy of knowledge.